Good evening, everybody. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. It's June 15th, 2014, and you're listening to Common Ground Radio on the Air Nation Radio Network, where we discuss all the latest from the daytime Emmy-winning drama days of our lives. I am your host, Brandon, and on the line with us, as always, is the other half of Common Ground Radio, Misty. Hello. Can't believe it's already oh, seven on Sunday. I, it's crazy. <laughs> we we did call in a little late. Like I I didn't know if I was gonna make it at the call until I was doing something else and well I made it in time, but <laughs> I actually wasn't sure if anybody wanted me to come back this week after last week's show with Travis. I thought everybody Aww. would want him to come back. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted you to come back. Oh <laughs> uh, well. If they wanted me to, then I, I guess I it's okay if I return. I had a good time. And I wanted I was, you to come back. <laughs> oh, okay. well, that's all that matters then. If my co-host wants me to come back, then I have to. Um, and yes, Travis, I listened to the show, and you did perfectly well. So no worries about that. So if we ever, if Misty ever leaves for a, for a day, or I ever have to go out, you're you're our resident filler. Or wait, that, that doesn't sound right. You're our resident guest co-host. <laughs> resident guest co-host. <laughs> Filler in her, he uh, says. That, okay, that works. <laughs> Whatever you want to call yourself. <clears throat> all right, before we get into our show for this evening, we'd like to remind you all to log on to airnationradio.com and check out all our past shows. You can listen to our shows right there on airnationradio.com, and you can download the shows right here on our talkshow.com account, so that way you can listen to them when and where you please. We've been lucky enough to have interviews with people from young to old of the day's cast members, We've we've had Jen Lilly, Jade Harlow, Bill and Susan Hayes, Meredith Scott Lynn, and most recently Casey Moss, who surprised us and brought Guy Wilson on. <laughs> so if you miss any of those, my favorite. Be sure. <laughs> <laughs> that one we'll never forget. I mean, never. That's a highlight, hands right. up. Right. But uh, <laughs> if you miss any of those, be sure to download download those as soon as possible. Because you can listen to those on your Android or your iPhone or, or whatever you have. So you can download them right to your phone. Listen on the go. Next, we'd like to give you our tweets of the week. Every week, Misty and I bring you tweets from day stars, past and present. The first one I have is from Cassie DePaiva, who debuts this week, actually, as Eve Donovan. You can follow her at Cassie DePaiva, and that is K-A-S-S-I-E-D-E-P-A-I-V-A. And which I kind of just said what she said in her tweet. But uh, she said, hey, all you One Life to Live fans, <laughs> I hope you are watching Days of Our Lives. Next week, Eve arrives in Salem. It's a crazy fun town. Check it out. And I know that the One Life to Live fans are so – they love Blair, who who Cassie played on One Life to Live. And I have a feeling, and I'm hoping, that all of the One Life to Live fans come over and start watching days if they weren't already. So hopefully that happens because she has a large fan base. I'm excited. I can't wait. I didn't watch One Life to Live, but I'm excited to see her in this role. So very exciting. But All if you right. want to catch up on any of uh, One Life to Live 2.0, it's on Hulu because when One Life to Live was canceled and then it was brought back online. So there's some newer versions of One Life to Live 2.0 that you can watch on Hulu if you so please. Awesome. All right. My first one is from Patsy Peace, and if you don't know her, she is um, Kimberly Brady. And her, if you want to follow her, she's recently new to Twitter, so you can follow her at Patsy Peace, and it's P-E-A-S-E. Um, she says, I am so honored by your support. Yeah, <laughs> not not peace, like P-E-A-C-E. Okay. I am so honored by your support. Teresa needs her parents. Let's all support Charles, I think you say his name, Shaughnessy, because uh-huh. Kim will always need her saying, Oh. I wondered, because I, I heard a lot of hubbub on Twitter about her possibly returning or people, you know, trying to convince Dave to bring her back. I mean, it's perfect timing with, you know, Teresa in there and, well, she doesn't really have a connection to Eve, though. I mean, biologically, she doesn't have a connection to Eve, correct? Right. So, I mean, but still, Teresa could could use some harsh loving from her mother. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I agree. I mean, they can always bring Shane with her, and Shane does have a connection to Eve, so. Right, exactly. That makes perfect sense. I mean, why why don't we cast for the show? I don't know why. I don't know why we... <laughs> We aren't in California working on days, but maybe someday. I know. We need to cast Anne Wright, and then it would be wonderful. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, my next tweet is from Taylor Spritler, who played Mia a few years ago, if you will recall. You know, Mia and Will, yeah. Mia and Chad, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, you can follow her. She's on Melissa and Joey now, by the way, if you ever want to watch out on ABC Family. <clears throat> you can follow her at Taylor Spritler. I just had a dance off to Shania Twain in my kitchen. <laughs> Try to tell me your Friday was better. Hashtag winning. <laughs> Sounds like a good Friday night to me. I don't know. <laughs> I wish that they had, like, videotaped it and posted it somewhere. <laughs> that would have been pretty funny. <laughs> I used to love country so much, but now I'm just I'm not into it. But back in the day, I was – back in the day, you know, like five yeah. or ten years ago. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's funny because I used to be big country in the 90s. But then, mm-hmm. not yeah. so much Me now. Too. But yeah, country's not the same it was in the nineties. No, it's not. No, I will agree. But I did like Shania Twain, so that's pretty funny. And my next tweet is from Jen Lilly, of course. Couldn't leave her out a week. And um, if you want to follow her, she's at Jen underscore Lilly. She says, "I swear, if I don't do something, the minute I think of it, it won't get dis." <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I thought that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I am the same. Right, yeah, and she didn't even finish her tweet, of course, but I am the same way. Because <laughs> I have so much stuff running through my mind all the time. So if I think of something that needs to be done and I don't do it right then, it's I'm going to go right on to something else. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and it's funny because I'll be in the middle of doing something and I'm like, wait, what was I going to do? Because <laughs> something else will cross my mind. <laughs> And I think that's happened to me a couple times during our show, so that's not a good thing. But hopefully it doesn't happen to you any time during our show, so that way you can keep us on track. I'll try. <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, our last tweet of the week is from Casey Moss. You can follow him at one Casey Moss. Um, this is like an all caps, but I'm not going to scream it. Um, he says, listen up, eyes of one. Uh, well, wait, hold on. He says, listen up, Eyes of One, which is his band, of course. If you don't know, follow them on Twitter, at Eyes of One underscore. Um, Eyes of One is opening for Fozzy Rock at the Whiskey A Go Go on July 24th. So, if you're in California, and I assume this is in California. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know about clubs in California. Oh, I don't know about clubs in general, let alone in California. But look up Fozzy Rock and go over and check out Casey Moss on July 24th as his band. I think this might be his first, his band's first gig, you know, big, real big gig. So check him out. And, and of course, you can check him out online. They have a website, eyesofone.com. And I don't know if you all follow him on Instagram, but holy oh, moly, he's been God. posting some of the best <laughs> pictures I've ever seen. I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> And his Instagram handle is the same as his Twitter handle, at Lane Casey uh-huh. Moss. So you all need to go look that up. We highly enjoy. recommend that you follow him on Instagram. <laughs> we did post one on our page, though, on our, our Facebook page. We did post one of the pictures. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Yep. Out. <laughs> you'll, you'll be pleased. <clears throat> yes. Uh-huh. All right. That's all the tweets we have for this week. Um, come back next week as we have five brand new tweets. So. <laughs> Now it's time for Days in the News. In the news. This week, the <laughs> I'll have to have you introduce that from now on with your little <laughs> jingle. Because as I, as I said last week when I tweeted after I got back from, from Indiana, I said, I, I appreciate Travis filling in for me, but there will not be any singing when I return. So just so you're all aware, I will not be singing. No matter how much you pry, I am not going to sing. You do not need to be subjected to that. So the news that I have starts off with daytime Emmys. We now have a host for the 34, easy for me to say, 41st annual daytime Emmys. Um, she's hosted her own talk show on Bravo and co-hosted CNN's New Year's Eve countdown presentation alongside Anderson Cooper on several occasions, but it's her singing or signing on as the host of the 41st annual daytime Emmy Awards that promises to be one of the most memorable acts by comedian, actress, writer, and producer Kathy Griffin. So, we now know that Kathy Griffin will be the host of the 41st Annual Daytime Emmys. And mm-hmm. the note that I wanted to find, and I know Dan was talking to us about this, and I, I thought I had it, but I don't. Dang it. Um, oh, well. Well, I don't know. Um, I think he said it was on Greg in Hollywood. So if you go to Greg in Hollywood and check out the story, you'll find a, a little funny quote from, from Kathy Griffin. Of course, she, she can't. 
everything because you know she's a comedian. But uh, I think it's a good choice in my opinion. She's hilarious, and I think she'll do a better job than uh, Robin Mead and her her HLN crew last year, which was just a, a crapshoot, a uh, horrid job last year. I mean, anyone could do better than last year's show, and I <laughs> think that that she's she's a lady to do the job. <clears throat> All right, um, next piece of news is keep you on suspense. Actually, it's not. I'm just trying to switch from screen to screen on my computer. Um, next, a day's fave lands a gig in primetime. While the series only premiered just this past week, Soap Opera Network has learned that Days of Our Lives Mary Beth Evans, who plays Kayla, is set to appear in at least two episodes of ABC Family's Chasing Life, beginning oh, cool. with the summer finale, Tuesday, August 12th. And I believe this is the one about the – is this the young lady that has – Cancer. Right. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, I've seen a preview a hundred times, but I, I haven't caught it yet. So uh, it comes on after Pretty Little Liars, which I didn't, I didn't watch it, but I saw the previews for it. I might watch it. Yeah. Now that she's gonna make some appearance. It looks good. The show looks good. So I advise you if you haven't started watching, at least watch the summer finale when Mary Beth Evans makes her debut on ABC Family's Chasing Life Tuesday, August twelfth. Now my last piece of news I have is the ratings, of course. Oh, because it's good news for once. Um, <laughs> for the week of June 2nd, Days of Our Lives gained 83,000 viewers from that time a week prior, and they gained 80,000 from that time a year ago, which oh, is, yeah. is great news, the gain viewers from a year ago. Uh, so they've had 2.4 million viewers the week of June 2nd. However, that still leaves them in fourth place out of all four soaps. Um, GH is in third, and they have three point, had 3.1 million <clears throat> that week. So uh, they, while it is good news, they do need to really pick it up. I, mm-hmm. I, we've talked about that in the past, so I'm not going to dwell on that much more, but they they got to do something. And, and the, the women 18 to 49 viewership is, has increased, and Are you there? Brandon! I think that he got disconnected. Or he hit mute, maybe? (laughs) And I don't know what he was going to say next for Damon News. (laughs) But... If you want to join us in our conversation this afternoon, you can call 1-724-444-7444, call ID 131151-POUND, and then 1 and pound, and you are in. And, of course, I'm going to post the spoilers on the Facebook page following tonight's show. And some of the topics that we can talk about tonight is going to be um, Gabby's exit, Paige's living situation, and the never-ending saga of Nicole. Can you all still hear me in the chat room? And Travis. Well, I will keep him muted. I don't think he was ready for me to pick him up. Yep, Brandon Law, so he'll be calling back in a minute. So if anyone wants to call in and talk to me, again, the number is 724-444-7444. And the call ID is 131151 pound, and then you just have to hit one in pound, and you will be in to talk to me. Um, I guess I can go ahead and get started on how I felt about um, Gabby's exit. I think that, you know, as we talked last week, you know, her performance last week was amazing, and I think that she's doing a fantastic job of her last week in Salem, and I wish that she had shown this much enthusiasm and um, her acting skills throughout the the entire time that she was on there, but hey, what are you going to do? What broke my heart the most was when Sunny and Will brought the baby to see her, and she got to hold the baby, you know, for one last time and talk to her about how she was going to miss... um, miss her, but how Will and Sunny was going to be, 
you know, there for her and be great parents. And um, they told her, you know, that they were going to send emails and videos and that they'll come visit her as much as they can. And it's just, it was just really heartbreaking to see that. And um, also, Rafe and her together, that they have the best brother-sister dynamic on the show. Brandon! Hello. Hi. Yeah, I, just... I was like, where did he go? I just went ahead and started talking about Gabby's exit. Okay. I, I was talking about it. Because I didn't want it to no be silent. <laughs> I was talking, and then you kept saying you couldn't hear me, but I could hear you, so I don't know what was going on. But I, I see I just I lost connection here, internet connection, and it screwed everything up. But right now it's working, so I don't know how long it's going to last. <clears throat> Okay. I, think I, fin- I was I like, well, where did he go? <laughs> I think I just finished the rating, so um, I, I guess we're it was good to go ahead and get into <laughs> Gabby's exit, but um, now I'm all off, off kilter. So I finished the ratings. Um, let me just remind you all, if you want to join the conversation in this evening via phone, the number is one seven two four 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 seven four four four. Call ID is one three one one five one in pound, finally one in pound, and you're in. And, of course, the spoilers will be posted on our Facebook page following tonight's show as they always are. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Missy has already talked about Gabby's exit, but there's other things we can get into as well this evening. Just let us know what you want us to talk about. Um, we have Paige's living situation, which is something intriguing, which we might see mm-hmm. um, play in next week as Eve debuts. Um, and then, of course, this is something that we could talk about every week, sadly, the never-ending saga of Nicole that seems to be going on forever, and the never-ending saga of Daniel Jennifer, which is something that goes on and on, and on, and on. Um, but we might as well just keep on going with how Misty was um, going with the Gabby's... I need, i got to reconnect the chat room. Hold on. Sorry. Okay. Um, so you just go ahead and keep talking, and then I'll jump in when I feel like it. Okay. Well, um, I was just saying that it was really emotional and sweet when they brought the baby in to see her for the last time, and I talked about how you know they were going to say... Um, bring her anytime they can and do emails and videos and stuff like that. But then mm-hmm. I was just getting into Gabby and Rafe. I was saying that I think they have one of the best brother-sister dynamics um, on the show. Um, I don't know what it is with them. Like, they're not on there much together, but when they are, like, you can just see how much he cares for his brothers and sisters. And, like, I don't know. It's just he's like their fatherly figure in a way. Mm-hmm. And No, oh, yeah. Um, I believe that because he uh, – they they don't have anyone else. Their parents aren't mm-hmm. around. I mean, well, they talk to Mama sometimes on the phone. For some reason, she can never make it to Salem, which I have yet to understand in, in the past six years. She has yet to make it, but she seems to call and complain a lot. <laughs> Even anyways, I don't know why, but, I mean, you can definitely tell that, that Camilla and, and Galen get along very well on set, which obviously transfers on screen to see Gabby and, and Rafe getting along so well. Yes. I really enjoyed watching them. And then I was saying, too, um, just how Camilla just knocked it out of the park her last few weeks on the show. She was just brilliant. Oh, yeah. um, I enjoyed watching her. And then Shakita said, because I said, you know, maybe she should have brought out as much passion the entire time she was on there as she did in her past two weeks. And um, she said in Camilla's defense, she hasn't had much to work with the last four years. The character of Gabby was an afterthought to the writers. So. E. Interesting comment. Good point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. I mean, that's uh, that's true. It's not. I mean, Gabby hasn't been given much attention aside from the. Nick. I mean, well, that. But I was going to say the the Andrew situation, but I'm not sure that that was. I'm not sure how to how to comment on the Andrew thing. <laughs> um, I don't know if that was so much written for Gabby because. Because it was more about Melanie. That was Melanie. <laughs> I mean, that was more you know Molly's time to shine in a way so aside from yeah i mean this was definitely her first chance and sad to say in her four years with days her first chance to really throw herself out there and show us how she can really act with the best of them i mean it's sad that she didn't get a chance any prior time to do this but i'm glad that we got to see this before she exited, and hopefully, 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 maybe in the near future she'll she'll return in some capacity. You know, maybe, maybe even if it is just through a jail cell, mm-hmm. we can hope. 
And I, and I believe that so digested an interview or or so in depth saying that that Dave's left it open for her to return. So mm-hmm. I think that they're willing to bring her back if she's willing and the storylines work out. So hopefully we'll see that in the future. Yeah. yeah. And who knows if it is Camilla, that'd be awesome. And if not, at least someone can come back as that character. Mm-hmm. And there was a Gabby, there was another actress that played her prior to mm-hmm. Camilla. More than one. I can't, remember, I can't remember her name, but I think it was Camilla when I started watching. So I don't know. I can see who the other ones were. I think it might have just been one. I think. I, yeah, that doesn't Um, But. Gabriella really... Rodriguez. That's funny. Her name's Gabriella. Uh-huh. And it was from 2009 <laughs> to 2010. And then um, Camilla. Yep. So there's yeah, that one. I don't know why I thought. Maybe there was two Ariana's, and that's where I got confused. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> if I were, hmm. Okay. I'm trying to think back to see if I can remember the first Gabby. I don't know if I was watching when she was on or not. Uh, anyways. I d- they look uh, similar. They, I think I've seen, yes. Now i I got to go look at pictures, because now I... Yeah, and Felicia Terrell was the other Ariana before Lindsay Hartley. So there were two Ariana's as well. Okay. Gabriella Watt? Rodriguez. Okay. Um, I didn't know there was another Ariana before Lindsay Hartley. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Felicia mm-hmm. Terrell, she was on there for 2009, in 2009 for a little bit. Ooh, she yeah. does look like Camilla. I know, isn't that crazy? That's, good. That's a good casting. Good <laughs> job. Huh. That's good. Okay, well, now that we're done, you know, going off the edge of our show. Um, <laughs> hey, let's we go could... talking, Dave. <laughs> well, that's true. But I think we should get into – oh, thanks for the, the link, Aries. If I would have saw that, I would have clicked on that. But anyways, oh, shout out shout out to Christina from Dark Days. I see she's in the chat room. Um, I think that we should get in a little bit about Gabby and Julie. I don't really want to. I might just It might set me off, but I <laughs> – I can't remember. Oh crap! There was something I was going to say. I told my mom was saying this to me. She was watching it, and I was going to quote her. I think <laughs> she said. I think she said. I wish Julie would get hit by a bus. I think that's what. She said. I think that was, that was her exact words. And <laughs> I said, I'm going to bring that up on the show tonight. She said, Please, please do it. And um, I think that. It was, I mean, she wanted her to die. That was what. That was the the what she was trying to say. I can't remember if she said hit by a bus or or, or pushed off a cliff. One of those two. Anyways. I echo this in a minute. So I just could not help but laugh at, at Julie's scenes when she was talking to Hope and Gabby about Nick. Oh, my God. I felt like she was making a fool of herself how she was talking about Nick like he was this godly saint from the end of the earth. Like, I don't know where she got this information from that Nick was this loving, caring, respectful human being because it must be a different Nick Fallon, in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> – Maybe she knew another Nick Fallon in another lifetime that she was thinking of. I don't know. But definitely the Nick Fallon she was describing to Hope and Gabby was not the one that we saw. And she said that Nick loved Gabby. Let me just say that I do not think that Nick was capable of love. And I, and I said this on Friday when I was, I was tweeting about Dave. I don't think that he's capable of love. He is just capable of obsession. And I, and I know mm-hmm. Shakita will probably disagree. Is Shakita even here? Yes, she is. Okay. Um, I and he had know... an obsession with Melanie, and he had an obsession an obsession with Gabby. They were both obsessions. They weren't. So you see a trend. There's yeah. a trend there. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, and there was no way that was going to be broken, that that trend of, of obsession. I mean, up until his last minute, I mean, he did, again, he did try to call Marlena, you know, and say that he wanted to change. But, I mean, there was no indication that that was actually going to happen. I mean, I just... I'm glad he's dead and gone. That's all I have to say about it. I know some don't agree with me, especially Sakita, but I, I'm thrilled that he's dead and gone. And Are you watching when he um, did the dirty with Billy? <laughs> oh my gosh, no! I'm glad I wasn't. That's all kinds of messed up. He wasn't obsessed with her, though. <laughs> okay, what do you call it then? He Going just... for some finger action? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Getting some uh, uh, now I have that image in my mind. <laughs> I don't even want to. Thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, anyways, 
So, so I think that we're not going to see Julie again until Christmas. I think we're safe to say that. I mean, that's the only reason she was on the show any time. Not, not to be disrespectful to to Susan or, or Bill. I mean, well, we didn't see Bill at all during this whole Nick thing, but that's the only time we see her is when there was something up with Nick, or you know, to prop Nick, or you know, say how how, a lo- how much of a lovely person Nick was. Gag me. So I, I assume around Christmas is the next time that we'll see her. And Doug, too. I think that Doug, um, I think I saw, I don't know, I, I don't know, I don't want to say anything because I'm not sure. But anyways, we'll probably see Doug and Julie around Christmas. So, yep, I think that's about all we can cover. Well, let's see, Shakita has something to say, I see. Um, <laughs> days fell short of portraying the relationship between Julie and Nick, and Susan had to explain how close they were in SOD. Okay, well, I haven't read the latest Soap Opera Digest, but um, mm-hmm. I'll have to check that out. Uh, yeah, you can definitely say that, that the writing, the writers can be put, that some of the blame can be put on them. Well, I mean, most of the blame because they are the ones who put the show together. Uh, but, yeah, that, that, that's a good point. <clears throat> so, um, I, I think I just want to sit here and read Shakita's thoughts maybe just the rest of the show just see what she says um, <laughs> she says I was upset that no one told Julie what Nick did to Gabby Julie was raped so I would think that she would have shown Gabby a lot more compassion that's a good point mm-hmm. I, I yeah. wonder how how she would react I hope that, Hope didn't know either correct I don't think she knew about what Nick attempted to do so I think well, didn't Gabby say in her, as a part of her confession? Oh no, oh. she had to leave that out. She had to leave that out. Or did because she that would have implicated. There? Right, right, okay, yeah. yeah. So that'd been interesting to see if, yeah. if Julie had known about that, how much differently she would have treated Ju- uh, Gabby. I mean, I thought she was being harsh, honestly. I mean, I know that Gabby killed Nick in cold blood, but I thought the way that she was acting towards Gabby was harsh, a little too harsh. Because I would have thought that Julie would have been a more kind and compassionate lady. You know, I thought she was a little compassionate, had a little bit of feeling in her. Well, I mean, happy feelings. But I was, I was a little surprised at how harsh she was to Gabby. I mean, I knew she wouldn't be happy, but I thought she'd be a little less vindictive than she was. But, I mean, that's how the cookie crumbles, I guess. I know. She, well, <sighs> she said, I hope you hate yourself for the rest of your life. That's pretty mean. I know. Like I said, I'm just surprised to hear that from Julie. Like, I, mm-hmm. I don't... Imagine Julie being like that. I mean, uh, I didn't watch back in the early days in the in the 60s and 70s when Julie was really at her heyday. I mean, I don't know if she was like that then, but uh, I mean, yeah. either way, we we can say that that Camilla and Susan both did fantastic jobs last week, and, and Blake Barris did too up until his last weeks. Mm-hmm. So that's one positive thing that we can't say about the whole storyline. <clears throat> All right. Uh, is there anything else we need to cover about Camilla? I, I've noticed that she she retweets everything that everyone tweets her. Like this whole week, she's retweeted every <laughs> single tweet that she's received, and it's been filling up my timeline, kind of getting on my nerves. But um, <laughs> but she favorited was, my tweet asking her to be on our show, but she didn't say anything about it. I'm like, don't favor it, answer it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I saw that. I was like, so what's that mean? Is that a yes or a no? I mean, I know. give an answer. I'm um, like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I don't know. Have we? We you've contacted her before, so I don't. I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See where that goes. We, well, we do have an announcement at the end of the show that that Missy will bring up. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Um, I wanted to bring that up at the beginning, but of course, you know, I, I dropped <clears throat> dropped it off. Um, <laughs> before we go any farther, I wanted to give a shout out to people that I know aren't listening, but shout out to Eileen Davidson and Greg Vaughn because today is both of their birthdays. I, I think Eileen Davidson is. In her 50s, 55 or something like that, she looks amazing for 50, so kudos to her. But um, we'll be seeing Kristen in July is when she comes back, so I cannot wait to see that. I am so excited. And don't even get me started on seeing Cassie this week. Oh, my – I watched the preview because, you know, NBC Days posts the, posts the preview mm-hmm. <clears throat> for the week, and it was um, of Sammy and EJ and Abby, and then – and then it, it, it popped up, and there was Cassie standing in the Horton Town Square, and they said, and Cassie DePiva joins the Emmy-nominated daytime drama days. And I, I watched that literally ten times, I swear. No joke, I watched it like ten times. 
and I, I got I got giddy every time I watched it. I'm like, oh my god, Blair Kramer is coming to Salem. Oh my god, Cassie DePaiva has joined. I'm just I I can't control my feelings. I'm I'm so excited, and you're going to have to pick me up off the floor next week when I watch the scenes finally. And like I said, if she ever shares scenes with Eileen Davidson, I'm not going to be able to do a show. I'll, I'll be on the floor. I will not be able to do it. I just cannot. <laughs> I will not be able to work through those emotions that I will have. So just a forewarning right there. But oh my God, I, I, in case you couldn't tell, I kind of like Cassie DePiva. So I'm excited to see her come today. Then she debuts this week. Finally. <clears throat> I mean, she's been working since like January or February. So it's about time she debuted. But anyways, oh, sorry. I apologize for that. Yeah, shut up, Breathe, shut breathe. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. In and out, in and out. Okay. Aries, so, it's not fangirling. <laughs> yeah, and I told I said, shut up, Aries. Don't even know. It's, you don't even know. You don't even know. Okay. <clears throat> so, whew, I think that with that, we can move into something related to Eve, which it seems will be related to Eve. Um, so, this week, JJ went over to Pages. Washington well, Lilly Department. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he didn't know. He didn't know if it was her place or she. Didn't, I mean, I think JJ thought that Paige had her own place until Paige told her that um, she was living with her dad's cousin. Correct. That's what she said. Mm-hmm. I think her dad's cousin. Yeah. Um. So, as they were, you know, getting ready to, as the kids say these days, get it in. Uh, she got a call from <laughs> from her mom, and there was a bad reception between you know her and her mom, as, as there usually is between me and the show every week. So I know how that feels like. She said that she was coming home <laughs> this you know soon. I think it was this week or something. And uh, Paige took that as she was coming home right now. So they both hurried up and got dressed. But she she says she was coming home later this week. <laughs> and and Paige says that her. Um, it, the job that her mom has takes her out of town very often, and she hadn't been in town yet since that she's been here. So, with what is, with who is coming on next week, we can only assume that Eve is Paige's mother. I mean, it's not confirmed or anything, but it, it seems money five percent oh, likely. Lord, that, I wasn't even I thinking mean, that. <laughs> I was, it, it I was thinking she was the cousin. <laughs> well, I mean, well, that could be too. I don't know. Because he said, wait, she's here. She's gorgeous. You know, I was just thinking, I don't know. I was thinking it was going to be her cousin. I wasn't thinking her mom. Well, Teresa would be the one that's her cousin, right? Or no, her aunt. Oh, my gosh. See, I'm trying to think. Her dad's cousin. So who is her dad? Is it her dad? We don't know who I that know. is. I mean, I know. Because uh, if Teresa, if that's Teresa's place, then it's Teresa is the dad's cousin, and, and I mean, well, Roman is Teresa's cousin, right? Or no, that's her uncle. Dang it, no. Oh, Ari uh, thinks it's Frankie Brady. Jennifer's old fl- okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Christine said, we know her dad walked out on her. Yeah, that's really all we know about her dad, is that okay. he's not there. Huh. And if he's just a mother, Teresa would be the aunt. JJ mm-hmm. would have recognized Teresa's apartment, though, is what but, Keita said. But I thought, yeah, that part, of, I mean, the layout overall, I mean, where the where the bedroom was and the kitchen and couch, that did look like Teresa's. However, the, the the appearance of it did not look like Teresa's. I mean, the couch looked different, and the kitchen looked a little, the collars looked a little different, so it didn't look exactly like Teresa's. So, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I know, it's crazy. So, I guess I'm we'll stressed. find out. <laughs> I got, we got to move on from this, because I'm just stressed thinking about it. But, so... <laughs> My guess is that, that Eve is Paige's mother, and everyone's going to be upset about that because everyone thinks that Paige is boring, which is what I've seen from what I've read. Everyone, and I've seen that people, as I've read in the chat, Rich Shakita, um, that that Eve will be her first scenes. Well, I don't know if it's first scenes, but most of her scenes will be with Daniel, 
And, and of course, I assume that Eve is going to be the one to come in between Daniel and Jennifer. I mean, they're already mm-hmm. kind of in a bad place right now, Daniel and Jennifer. But mm-hmm. I assume that Eve is going to just make it even worse. <clears throat> so I don't know how soon he, uh, he, I don't know how soon uh, Jennifer and Daniel are going to get their happy ending because I know that everybody everybody here in the chat room is hope, hoping that Daniel and Jennifer get their happy ending. I can I can just tell how you all love Daniel and Jennifer, but I'm not sure that's going to happen. So I apologize. I'm I'm excited to just I I don't know where what Eve's story is going to be, but I'm just I'm actually kind of excited that she's going to be Paige's mother. I mean, it's going to be give. True, you know, who plays Paige, a, a bigger role on the show, hopefully, if they play it that way. I mean, I think True's a great young actress, and, and it's also going to be interesting to see how that plays out between Paige and JJ, because Eve and Jennifer are, would you say, arch nemesis in a way? They don't get along mm-hmm. that well. And mm-hmm. so, how would that end up with uh, Jennifer's son dating Eve's daughter. I don't know how, what Jennifer and Eve would think of that. So that'll be fun to see play. I I mean, yeah, I'm very invested in Paige and JJ. I mean, I'm finding them more, like, you know, I I like Will and Sonny too, but I'm losing interest in Will and Sonny. I'm very interested in in Paige and JJ to see how that goes. Because I, I mean, Casey Moss is a fantastic young actor and, and true it is as well. So I can only imagine what their scenes, what's up next for them. I mean, I'm sure they'll, they'll nail, nail whatever scenes they have. But I'm also interested in Abby and Ben, but I won't, we'll not get into that right now. So I don't know. I'm hoping. I, I don't have too much hope because I, I've, I've lost some hope in, in, in the show. Just a little bit, just a small amount. I'm hoping that the writers can give make, you know, Eve, Paige, JJ, J- Jennifer, Daniel, you know, that whole, whole, you know, quadrangle, uh, whatever you want to call it, <clears throat> make that whole scenario <laughs> interesting somehow. Um, because if not, then it's just going to turn into a whole, it, it, I have a feeling that it might just turn into all about Daniel and Jennifer, you know, Paige and Eve and, and JJ. I think it, it just might all turn into Daniel and Jennifer somehow. I, I mean, not that I'm hating on them, but it's what they tend to do is they tend to make everything about Daniel and Jennifer. And the ratings aren't reflecting – they're not reflecting that Daniel and Jennifer are, are a positive thing for the show. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's something good. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'll just say that. I don't know. Those are the only – those are the two, three best words that I know how to use. I don't know. Uh, what do you think? I think that my mind just got blown. <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> thinking about her like being my mother. I know. I was like, I need Dan to call. No, um, <laughs> I, that's going to be so awesome. Like, because I want to see how they're going to react when they find out their kids are dating each other. Because they don't like each other. They never have mm-hmm. liked each other. And right. um, so I'm. Um, I can't wait. This is going to be crazy. And I know that Cassie is going to bring it because, I mean, she is – has not been recognized like she should in the daytime Emmys, but Cassie is a fantastic actress, and <clears throat> they've got quite the pickup when they signed her. Oh, my gosh, I cannot con- – I'm so excited, so excited. Okay, <laughs> we need to move on from this. But you cannot contain yourself. <laughs> I, can, I cannot. Oh, my – and if they brought – if. Somehow, by the grace of God, Roger Howarth left General Hospital and came to came to days. I, oh my God, I'm. Oh my God. Roger Howarth and Cassie DePiva together again on a soap on on days. I'm, I'm I'm getting chills just thinking about it. Oh my God. Okay, I apologize. Well, actually, I don't apologize because I'm I, I'm just excited. So I think from this we can move on to. Uh, I don't really want to talk about Nicole. But, I mean, that was a, a big part of last week. Um, I don't really want to talk about Nicole. I just don't. <laughs> what else could we talk about? Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Let me think. Um, we can talk about the funny scene with Marlene <laughs> and Kate and Sammy. <laughs> oh, where she found – okay, that would <laughs> that's a good, good thing to talk about. Yeah, so Kate and Sammy were in the – 
off the square in a little bench area talking about um, what had happened about the first time Nick quote-unquote died, <laughs> um, and Marlena was listening <laughs> in the whole time, in that horrible yellow blazer thingy that I don't understand why I, uh, I don't know. She wears that a lot, and I don't understand it. Um, but she heard everything that they said, and, well, she she just, she just walked up to Kate and, and Sammy. I don't think she said anything. She just stared at them, and Kate and Sammy knew. I think Kate tried to crack a joke, and then <laughs> Sammy just told her to stop looking at with that, you know, um, what what'd she say that? Uh, the, I can't remember what look. Anyways, they knew that she heard what she said, <clears throat> what they said, and um, I, I think he just, Kate just left, but Sammy and Marlena talked a little bit, and um, and I think Sammy had apologized, of course. I mean, Sammy's not one to apologize for anything, but um, they kind of got into an argument of sorts, and, and Marlena left, <clears throat> and... Sammy followed her because she didn't want Marlena to say anything to, you know, whether that be the police or, or, you know, Eric or anybody. I mean, I don't know who who she would tell, but I think they went to the pub, if mm-hmm. I remember right, and they talked there. And Sammy did not – she didn't deny what she did, and she definitely, definitely did not say she was sorry. I mean, she said that word for word. She said, I'm not sorry. Um, I'm <laughs> glad he's dead. That. Those are, those were exact words, and, and I think she kind of echoes the sentiments of most days fans. <laughs> but I mean, Marlena tried to say, but he was a human being who you know was going through issues and, and such, and he didn't deserve to have his life taken from him. But um, Sammy said that he what he had done to her family and, and everything that she's glad he's gone, and, and that was that was that she got up and left. So, <laughs> and then sorry. Marlena just I, shook her head. She was like, "Yeah, really." <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't be laughing about someone dying, but, I mean, it was – the scene was hilarious. I mean, the scenes with, you know, with Lauren and, and Allie and Deidre were hilarious, as always. And, <laughs> oh, my gosh, I don't know. It's craziness. But I'm sorry. I'm still thinking about Kathy and Roger possibly being on day together. I'm not even I'm not even in the subject. I'm <laughs> My head's in another world. Sorry. Um so, where was I? Oh, um, yeah, Kate and, and Sam. Well, what about Kate's outfit? We can talk about that. I mean, that was pretty, pretty loud. I guess you would say a lot like Marlena's. Marlena wore that that yellow thing to, to um, the opening of the St. Luke's um, school. Because I remember I have screenshots, and she wore that vest there, but I think she had a blue shirt under it, not a black shirt. So when she put the black shirt on, she looks like a bumblebee. But <clears throat> interesting choice of clothing. I, I mean, Laura Cosley looks good no matter what she wears and, and how old she is. I mean, she doesn't... Exactly. She, I I assume most ladies would want her a secret. I mean, Deidre Hall as well. Deidre and, and Lauren. They look amazing for their age, and it, <clears throat> it's ridiculous. I mean, I guess... I mean, you don't see many people on the East Coast like that. I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying. I probably started something, but I think it, it's something about. No, I won't get into that. Okay, so I think that. Uh, hmm. I don't know. What do you think? What's going through your head right now? Are you thinking about Cassie and Roger too? <laughs> well, a little bit, because I'm still like blown away that it's going to be Kate's mom. <laughs> what I keep thinking about. Um, I don't know. I, I'm i curious to see if Kate's going to get back with Stefano. That's what um, I want to know. I think she's doing it because maybe of what Victor said about how he's going to like put her out or whatever, fire her. Right. And if she's in good with Stefano, then... She won't need that job. <laughs> so I don't mm. know. I don't know if she's, or if she's trying to ruin Sammy and EJ. I don't know. I'm curious. We haven't seen think, Stefano I knew that she loved Stefano, but I know. All right. Like, where's he been? He's on a business trip, as usual. Of course. He just happens to be on a business trip. Go figure. <laughs> um, I think that if you, I've seen the cover of Sid, I just haven't read it, but. It's kind of a spoiler, but apparently um, 
Rate is back on. It's, it, I've read that, seen that, that Kate sleeps with Grace sometime soon. So, yay! You know, oh my God, don't even. <laughs> I, I, love I can only, Kate and Rafe. I can only assume that it's because Rafe is grief stricken at, at the loss of his. Well, I mean, the yeah, because he, he, loses he sister, pushes but. Jordan away, and then she comes in for mm-hmm. the a sweep and gets right. Um, oh my gosh, Aries echoes my sense of cafe over Rafe. Yes, I I so <laughs> wanted Rafe and Carrie back in the day, but I mean, Jordan's town now, so all my other shit go under Jordan Rafe. <clears throat> Rafe pairings, that is. So, I would love to pair <laughs> I would even want Nate, with. yeah, with Rafe and Nicole. Yeah, that's who oh. I'll offer that. I, I think I, I mean, I shipped everybody with Rafe except for Kate. And I, I think Sammy. I was watching. Yeah, I don't know. It was I think when I started watching days is when Sammy and Rafe were a thing. But, I mean, I wasn't really into that. I mean, it was okay, but, yeah, whatever. I would really love for Carrie to come back, but Chrissy Clark should come back. Chrissy Clark and Patrick Maldon should both come back. I know. That'd be cool. I enjoy I them. I think Aries has talked to, to Carrie's mom. I mean, she she, gets, she he needs to put in a good word. He needs to, to, to tell her daughter <laughs> to come back to dates. Um, oh, oh, and then there's um, the Maldonette, or the, the Melanie um, issue, but we've heard a lot about Melanie lately. I think it was on Friday's show when Rafe told Daniel about what Gabby did, uh, Gabby and Andrew yeah. did to Melanie. So, I mean, we've been they've been talking a lot about Melanie lately. So it seems – actually, I did bring news a few weeks ago about – I think it was Daytime Confidential had reported. And it was in talks with days to resurrect the character of Melanie. Um and apparently the talks were serious, and it seemed as though it is was will happen. And Woo-hoo! I believe I'm I think that Daniel said that Melanie told her that she was ready to make a visit. Mm-hmm. Um, and Daniel didn't understand why she was just not ready. And I mean, I don't really want to get the Daniel Rafe confrontation, but <laughs> it seems as though that Melanie is returning sometime. I mean, not in the near future because they taped five months in advance. So um, unless she has been secretly taping for three or four months, I don't know. Maybe she has. But, I mean, I'd be excited for Melanie to come back. I mean, I'm all for a switch up in stories, you know, bring <clears throat> bring someone else in. You know, I mean, I'd, maybe Melanie will come back to prop Danifer. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. That is mm-hmm. probably what will happen. But, um, oh, sorry. She'll come back to save Brady. Yeah, but, uh, right. Um I saw Teresa had to leave. I'm sorry I didn't I didn't get to say hi to you, but hi Teresa and bye Teresa. Um, <laughs> so uh you think she'll come back for Brady? You think maybe I mean who would have told her though about Brady? Or maybe she just comes back to town and finds out that Brady and Teresa are together and then Yeah. And then she'll save him from his mm. crazy demise with his drug I'm action. still holding out hope that Kristen comes back and saves him. I'm not sure that she can save him, but Y'all know I'm a hard You don't think that would make Kristen it worse? I, no, because Kristen loves John's loved making him. it worse, and I think Kristen, no. if he sees Kristen, it's going to make it worse. Teresa doesn't love Brady. Kristen loves Brady. There's, there's a difference there. <laughs> I'm a hardcore Brady and Kristen shipper, and I'm not backing down. I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. Brady and Kristen forever. But, I mean, the, Teresa does not love Brady. She, the, No, she doesn't. I mean, no, I, I know. No. It's, it's not love. It's It's money. Well, I don't know about money as so much as it is drugs, but either way, I mean, the shoe fits, wear it. Um, Uh-oh. Sakita says she thinks Kristen's going to kidnap Nicole, Eric will save her, and we'll, that will get Eric all back together. Uh, so so Nicole can keep another life from Eric, and then the whole thing can go over again. I mean, just <laughs> end Eric and Nicole. I used to – I thought that Eric and Nicole could work out. I mean, I, Greg Vaughn and Ari Zucker are fantastic, and their scenes last week were out of this park. Emmy were these scenes, actually. I mean, if they submit those for 2015 Emmys, I wouldn't be surprised. They were pretty amazing scenes. But with that said, um, <clears throat> I'm over Eric and Nicole. I just I, – I, no, I don't – Days has ruined him for me. The writers have ruined Eric and Nicole for me. I used to 
I used to enjoy them. I did, but they they've ruined it for me. Maybe maybe they can redeem them. I don't know. It's it's possible that I mean soaps do redeem characters and couples every once in a while, so it's possible to redeem them. But how many times though can you redeem Nicole? Because Nicole has done some very very questionable things in the past, and she's been redeemed and redeemed and redeemed. So how many times can she be? I mean, I I don't know. It's I hate to say it because I, I love Nicole, but she's just not good in relationships. She's not a relationships kind of person. Uh, I don't can't know. help it. Oh, don't give me that crap. <laughs> Come on. It's in her blood. Okay. Well, if that's what you're going with then. All right. <laughs> but I, I know that it they have a, her since the beginning. I just feel bad for her. I don't. I'm. The more I watch, the less and less sorry I feel for. Which I hate to say because I used to love Nicole. It's just she did this all herself. I mean, it's it's her fault. And although I will say, when Eric, when her and Eric had that, you know, confrontation in the pub because the pub was closed for a private party. I don't know what party it was, but it was just Eric and Nicole in there. Um, they. He, she mentioned to her, or she mentioned to him how she forgave Eric when Eric had was thoroughly convinced that Nicole had raped him, and he accused her of rape. But of course, she she didn't do that, and, and she accepted his apology. She said that she didn't think that she could, and she didn't think she would, but she did in the end accept his apology, accept you know forgiveness. <clears throat> and she was asking Eric to do the same for her. So I mean that was. I mean, I gotta give Nicole props for that because I mean that's true. That that was very a, quite a, a low thing to do. Convince someone that you're supposedly you are good friends with and trust. That you convince yourself that they raped you when, I mean, you don't have any solid proof that it was that person. I don't know. It's I'm frustrated. I guess is what I just. I'm frustrated <laughs> with how they they've written them because. I assume that Eric and Nicole would have gotten together not too long after um, Greg Vaughn had come on as Eric. <clears throat> but, of course, you know, the whole priest situation took up a good year of 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 bore, of of unnecessary story. I mean, I I didn't enjoy the, the priest storyline whatsoever. But I'm, I'm, I'm not in a good mood tonight, am I? I'm very, very whiny, more than I am usually. I don't know what it is. I didn't just go back in my world of seeing Roger and, and Cassie on, on days together. Just go back to that world and think of how amazing those things would be. <sighs> okay. So, I don't know. We'll see how what happens with Eric and Nicole. And, and uh, I mean, I'm sure that they'll... They seem to be invested in Eric and Nicole. I mean, aside from uh, Daniel and Jennifer being their number one, it seems that Eric and Nicole is their number two, you know, with EJ and Sammy leaving. <clears throat> So I don't think that they're going to, you know, keep them apart forever. At some point, they're going to bring them back together, and I'm sure there'll probably be a big wedding, and there'll be a baby, and all that good jazz and whatever. So, yeah, it'll all work out for Eric and Nicole, I assume, sometime in the semi-distant future. Okay, well, that was a hoot. <laughs> Ah, it really was hearing you rant. <laughs> <laughs> Did, is that what you missed last week? Missed my rant. Yes. Yes. Uh, gosh. <laughs> I don't know. I had to get that all out there because I just I try not to complain so much on Twitter anymore because I get tired of seeing other people complain. That's what everybody does on Twitter, just complain about how horrible Dave is. I don't think Dave is horrible. I just think they have a few flaws. But I get so sick. The one thing I get so sick of is hearing people talk about how they hate Daniel and Jennifer. Like every day, it's the same complaint. Every day, five times a day, from one o'clock to two o'clock Eastern, it's the same thing. I hate Daniel and Jennifer. I hate Daniel and Jennifer. I hate. I mean, if if you don't like it, don't stop commenting fifteen hundred times a day about how much you hate it. Just don't even pay attention to it. But anyways, I had to get that all out there, and, and I will. I. I I'm I'm done. I'm I'm gonna just keep thinking about Roger and Cassie being on days together and I'm gonna let Missy finish the show. All so. right. Well I can go ahead and deliver our news. Oh that I for, almost forgot about that because I'm I'm 
in a, a bad state of mind. But yeah, <laughs> Misty, some fantastic news for you all that you will want to hear. Pay close attention. Okay. So this Wednesday, the 18th at 7 Eastern, we're going to have Pat C. Peace on our show, Kimberly Ooh. Brady. Yay! She, um, I reached out to her and she said yes. And she said, how about this Wednesday? And I was like, okay. So <laughs> this Wednesday at 7, we will have her as a guest on our show. Um, so feel free, call in, um, join us in the chat room. If you have any questions you want us to ask her, just let me know or let Brandon know. And what this means, though, is there will be no show next Sunday since we're having two shows this week. So, but we're very excited. I'm very excited. Um, she's one of the day's legends. Even though she's been, been on there in a long time, she's one, you know, that was on there, like, in the golden years, I guess you could say. <laughs> the good old days. Yeah. <laughs> You're too young to be saying um, that. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but we're very excited to have her on, so... Be sure to tune in Wednesday night, 7 Eastern. And um, also, tonight at 9, our friend Travis um, is having a show on his Captown Divas. Um, a psychic medium is going to be on there tonight. So you guys, if you're into that or interested in that, you should totally check it out. I think they're giving two callers a free reading. So you may be the lucky one. <laughs> oh, and I wanted to mention one thing before we left the air. This has nothing to do with day. This is just something for me. I don't hate me because I know how much you hate when I talk about this, but I run a Young and the Restless and Bold and Beautiful fan page on Facebook that I would and would love for you all to check out and like if you if you don't mind. I post recaps daily, um, and and I try to do screen caps and spoilers once in a while, but I mainly do recaps of Y and R and B and B, and I you know try to get your opinions on the show and whatnot. Um, but check me out on Facebook at Bold and Restless Buzz. You know, that's for Bold and Beautiful and Young and the Restless. You know, see how I did play on words there? Hey, I know, funny. Um, but if you want wine and B&B, for all your wine and B&B news, check out Bold and Restless Buzz on Facebook. Sorry, I had to. <laughs> I was like, are you done? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. I liked your page. So Thank you. I got to support, even though. I'm glad someone did. Later. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, okay. But anyways, so don't forget, Wednesday night, 7, be there or be square. Okay. Um, before we close out tonight's show, we would like to remind you all to go and follow us on Twitter at CG Online Radio. Like us on Facebook. Just type in Common Ground Radio in the search bar. Um, again, just drop us, you know, a comment. What do you want to talk about for the week? Um, we're open to suggestions on, you know, whatever you want to talk about for the week. So just go out there and drop us some comments. Also, check us out on airnationradio.com because there you'll not only find links to all of our past shows, you can download them and listen to them anytime that you please. But there's a little biography about myself and Brandon, along with all the other great shows on the Air Nation Radio Network. Um, and our site was recently updated, so go and take a look. Let us know what you think. Also, if you're into iHeartRadio, you're in luck because you can find us there. We are under the talk show category. Again, we would like to thank everyone who joined us in the chat room this evening. We hope that you all had as much fun as we did for Common Ground Radio. I'm Misty. I'm Brandon. Good night. See you all Wednesday evening. Yay! You've been listening to Common Ground Radio with hosts Brandon and Misty on the Air Nation Radio Network. Thank you for joining us. 